The Minecraft 1.18 Caves and Cliffs update part 2 has officially been released, and now is the perfect time to explore all the crazy new world generations with friends. I'm Owen from Shockbyte, and in this video I'll be showing you how to update your Minecraft server to 1.18 for both Java and Bedrock editions. Updates can include changes to blocks and terrain generation of your Minecraft world, which can cause issues when switching between versions. This update is a major example of that, with so many new biomes, new cave generation, and completely new build height limits. It is massively important to create backups to make sure you have a copy of your previous server files in case something breaks from updating, or if you want to restore your server to the previous version. To create a new backup of your Minecraft server, Head to the control panel of the server you want to create the backup for. Stop the server so that no changes are made whilst making the backup. Now we'll be making a full manual server backup to your computer using an FTP client. If you want to know how to set up and use an FTP client to manage your server files, we have a couple of tutorials linked in the iCards and down in the description. This tutorial, I'm going to be using FileZilla to create the manual backup by simply copying all of the files in your server directory and downloading them to a folder on your computer. This video I'm just going to be putting all the files into a folder on my desktop. Now that you have created a backup of your server, you're ready to update your server! Updating your server version is really easy, but you might require to do an extra couple of steps when updating your server from even older versions of the game. For example, anything before 1.16, you might need to reset your never to get it, the new terrain generation easier. Some non-vanilla server types like Spigot, Paper, Forge and Fabric also might not be available immediately. So if you wish to use plugins and mods on your Minecraft 1.18 server, we recommend waiting for the server type to become available before updating. Now for the exciting part. To update your server, head to the server control panel and make sure that the server is stopped. Then look for the server type option on the server's control panel homepage. This is where you select the type and version your server will use. Click on the drop down menu and select the Minecraft 1.18 server type that you wish to use. I'll be using the vanilla Minecraft 1.18 for Java edition for this tutorial. With Shockbyte you also have the option to select the auto updating vanilla Minecraft option if you want your server to just automatically update the newer versions of Minecraft 1.18 when they come out. Once you've selected the version you want it should automatically save then scroll up to the top of the page and start your server. There we have it, you have successfully updated your server to Minecraft 1.18 and can now enjoy exploring the Caves and Cliffs update part 2 with your friends on your Minecraft 1.18 server. If you have an existing server but would like to have a fresh start with the new update with a new generated world, you can instead reset your server. We have a guide for how to do this linked in the icons and down in the description. And as always, if you found this video useful, then leave a like and subscribe for more Minecraft and other game server tutorials such as this one. And enjoy the new updates.